We put down about 20 acres of plastic. We're looking at expanding that. Um, we're looking at putting more um, uh, plastic down for um, sweet corn. Um, we're also talking about um, expanding our pepper production. Uh, especially with lower commodity prices, we're looking into um, expanding that um, vegetable production and that specialty crop production. Well, putting it down in springtime is pretty easy. We have a machine that does that. In the fall time, we have a machine that lifts it. But uh, it takes our crew most of November to put that, um, uh, pick that plastic up, get the drip tape up, get the plastic up. We also have to have dumpsters, so um, uh, we usually go through one big dumpster that we have a semi bring in and put that plastic in. So it takes quite a bit of stuff, kind of costly with the dumpster. And it takes, it, it, like I said, all November, hopefully we have some nice days and that we can get a lot done, but it takes a long time to get all that plastic lifted. Well, this is the uh, Organex AG that uh, we, we put down. And next to it, we have our traditional or conventional type of plastic that we pull. And you can see there's no plastic down on the conventional that we pulled, but that was all pulled up. This stuff here, we haven't done anything to and it's starting to de decompose as it is. So we're gonna run a chisel plow through it in a few minutes. Well, for, especially for some of the earlier crops, when we have um, uh, the early sweet corn that we wanna put on plastic, um, some of the melons that we wanna get on plastic, when we're, if we have to be lifting this plastic in the middle of summer, it just can't be done. We got so much going on in the middle of summer with it, whether it's picking, whether it's still planting crops, whether it's the spray programs that we still got going on. We got a lot going on. Uh, that's almost, we almost can't do it in the, in the summertime. So in that part of our operation, this would be a perfect fit for that. We want to try it for more of the other types of operations and see if that, how it works in the fall time more. And so we are looking at, we, we will try some of that in the, with the pepper crops and the tomato crops and see how that works um, this next year too. We are always looking for that environmentally friendly. We are, we got another generation looking to come on and uh, we want that the, our farm to be sustainable for the next generation and the next after that. So uh, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren can take on this operation and say, you know, they did a good job back then and, and hopefully they do the same thing.